$90 million worth of crypto deposits have gone poof, gone, nada, after the death of Gerald Cotton, the CEO of Canada's largest crypto exchange, Quadriga CX. Supposedly, the 30-year-old Mr. Cotton took the passwords to his grave, at least that's what's being reported, and was the only one to have access to the 190 million bucks. It's a bizarre and brutal story, especially for investors, of course, and others. Here to discuss is Christy I of Counterpart X. Welcome back, Christy. Thank you so much. Good to be back. So, okay, of all the stories we've talked about, and we've thought about a bunch of cool stories on the show, right, in crypto, this has got to be one of the more bizarre ones. Uh, there's even some question whether or not Mr. Cotton is actually uh, beyond us. He it, it actually died, right? Exactly. So this is a very rapidly developing story, and there's so many unanswered questions right now surrounding the chain of events. And so the court has appointed Ernest and Young to actually investigate this, the Quadriga and see where the accounts have gone. And so what the investigation has actually turned up is that there actually isn't any evidence of a cold wallet storage that Quadriga said that the $190 million, $90 million worth of cryptocurrency is stored. There's no proof of this cold wallet anywhere. And so it seems that Quadriga is actually transacting between hot wallet to hot wallet and swapping cryptocurrency between that. Furthermore, Jesse Powell, the CEO of Kraken, one of the largest cryptocurrency exchanges in the world right now, he has corroborated with the story and is helping investigators. He said that Quadriga, in fact, has thousands of accounts on Kraken with transactions going in and out of each of those accounts. So this is highly suspicious. And furthermore, delving into these transactions between May and December of last year, up until his death, Quadriga has withdrawn $12.7 million worth of cryptocurrency for no apparent discernible reason. So again, highly suspicious. Okay, so there's, God, there's so many things to do. And this is why I've recommend, if you've been following on this channel, if you're going to invest in cryptocurrency, especially if you're going to have more than five to $10,000, have it on multiple exchanges, have it on multiple wallets. Putting all of your crypto into one exchange or one wallet is a bad idea. And it's very unfortunate what happened, but I'm not surprised it's going to continue continue to happen and the only way you can really hedge yourself from this kind of risk is diversification you should not hold all your crypto assets in one uh, area especially if you are uh, going to be uh, going into the ten thousand twenty thousand thirty thousand dollar uh, threshold so be very very careful um, but in a way this is good because when stuff like this happens it's going to make regulators and future crypto investors more cautious and hopefully stuff like this won't happen again but this is just the growing pains of a new asset class and new technology so I'm not surprised uh, and this will probably happen again but as this does continue to occur uh, people will make the necessary adjustments and for me I feel very safe having my money for example in Coinbase but I'm not going to put all my money in Coinbase I do also have crypto in Robinhood, uh, Kraken, uh, Gemini so if there is an issue with an exchange it's not like my entire portfolio will get wiped out but let me know your thoughts on this and I will talk to you guys soon.